Hey guys, it's Alexei from Ace 5 Studios in the next part of our Thea review. Now, there is a certain limitations that are a bit frustrating. Uh, firstly is if you have a plane in your scene for often in Cinema 40 as a really common technique is if you have a plane like so and you hit here render you'll see this in your scene and you sometimes you want everything about the plane but you don't want it in your scene and what you do is you usually put a compositing tag on it and you untick scene by camera and that works in Thea, so you still get the illumination, but you lose the reflection. And unfortunately, that's a permanent limitation of the engine, because it's a physical engine, and it can't really pretend to have reflection without the item being in the scene. So this is something you have to, you know, you have to render multi-passes, and then composite that together if you want this effect. So that's a bit of a bummer. But, you know, you have to just be more like a photographer. If you don't want it in your scene, you know, figure out how to take it out of the camera view or, you know, do it like in real life. Everything has a price. Now, the next thing that we have is right now we don't really have X particle support. We do have, we can, you know, all the geometry works. So if we get an emitter and, you know, um, we press emit. And we use their, where is it, um, generator and we make a little sphere and put it on it. Let's put it on the generator, on the generator. It's a very big sphere. But this does render. Sometimes if you're using an XP system, it doesn't really render, and the materials don't transfer from, you know, so you just have to apply, a, you can apply a material to it. And, There it is. Uh, but do make sure it's not in an XP system. Sometimes if you're rendering and you're not getting anything, it's because it's in an XP system object and those don't always play well. So if you're rendering fluid, stuff like that, it's all good. But if you're just rendering particles, you're going to have to render it in the standard render and then composite it together, unfortunately. Uh, hair. Hair actually works pretty well. Let's get rid of the car. Let's get ourselves a sphere. And let's go simulate and add hair. And we can press play. What we do need to do is we need to go to generate and change this to any of these geometries. So flat for example. And then we can press 5F and render. We get our hair. And we can even, you know, get a new the uh, new material. Let's, it's a matte material. Let's give it some translucence and reflectance. Let's make it hair color. Translucency can also be some kind of hair color. And we can apply that to the hair. And we can hit render. And we get hair material. And obviously the frizz transfers, so if we you know, get us some kink and some curl, we get our hair transferring. So it works. And obviously the, you know, the animation also works, so if you, and then you play it through. And you stop, it renders the updated frame. So the support is there. It's, you know, not perfect yet because your viewport is going to get kind of slow. But if you only turn on the geometry once you actually start rendering, it's a pretty decent approach. And yeah, so hair works. Uh, next part, what do we have problems with? Oh yeah, motion blur. We don't have motion blur yet inside the Cinema 4D version. The actual render supports motion blur, but the Cinema 4D version right now only renders one frame at a time, so motion blur isn't really there yet. But honestly, I, I don't have time to wait for motion blur. I'll, and also, clients so often ask you to make it more motion blur, less motion blur, that I usually just end up adding, adding it in post anyway. It's just, you know. Um, maybe when Thea has it, it'll be easy to re-render, but I still think it's not as easy as turning off a layer in post-production. So yeah, that's pretty much the main limitations that we have in Thea right now. Um, otherwise, it's great, you know. Oh yeah, and MoGraph also, the color shader works, but the multi-shader doesn't. But they promised they're going to work on the multi-shader, and so hopefully we'll soon have the multi-shader working too. That's it. Don't forget, if you're watching us on YouTube, go down and check out the rest of the review so you can hear all the great stuff about Thea, not just the things that don't work.